the line and the misleading information that these major gaming corporations continue to spoon feed us is a toxic, manipulated, greedy agenda that people need to start waking up to and understand what they do, they do because we allow it and we feed into it. What I'm talking of, of course, is the corporate greed and corruption that has fallen over us in the past few years, specifically in the gaming industry. Because without a doubt in my mind, out of all the penny-pinching scallywags that run our corporate companies, like EA, Warner Brothers, Ubisoft, and other companies are the greediest bunch out of all of them. And I know it. It's getting so bad, they give us unfinished games months before they're actually even done. We've seen this happen too often in the past years, with the biggest examples being Redfall, Last of Us remakes, Saints Row, Cyberpunk a few years back, even though it's good now. Most recently, Mortal Kombat. And the reason why this video is being made today, Skull and Bones. <sighs> Where'd you start with Skull and Bones, man? It feels like we're straight up being lied to with this product. It's like your mom saying she'll hold on to your birthday money for you so you don't lose that shit. They promise a full-fledged pirate experience that we've never saw before. Ubisoft themselves called this the first quadruple star game to come out to the public. This shit is even good enough to be on cool math games, bro. The most exciting content I witnessed in the first two hours of the game was battling the British fleet. They throw at you before you even know what you look like in the game. You shoot with your ship in the most bare bones, basic bitch way. So simple, they actually somehow made it worse than Assassin's Creed Black Flag, a game that the same company made 11 years before. The perfect example I can give for this is by the clip that Asmund Gold stream where he was talking about the same exact subject. So for Skull and Bones, the game, this is the ship boarding combat in Skull and Bones. This is the first quadruple A game. Did Bethesda make this game? Wait, what? Wait, no way. Bro, Age of Empires 2 was better than that. How can you have a pirate game and not actually board a ship? And so this is from a game 11 years ago. Black Flag. Jesus. How did this happen? Like, how did this ha I, I don't understand. How is it possible that it went back this month? This is 11 years ago. Uh, what? They really just made Assassin's Creed Black Flag 2 without any of the fun parts. You can't roam around your own ship. You can't board other ships. You can't walk on any land besides the one flea market setup style bullshit for people to send you on fetch quests after fetch quests and upgrade your stupid bland copy and paste ship that everyone else in the game has not to mention these characters won't even acknowledge your existence if the game doesn't even want you to talk to them yet and then the fetch quest they send you on is the most boring eyesore task of your entire life you go up to a side of an island or a crash boat and you just lock pick minigame and auto collect everything there it's a game I find on my niece's leapfrog tablet. And they advertise it like it was everything and more. Quick high-paced action trailers that show zero actual gameplay. And as a matter of fact, they never show any actual gameplay until the game was in its beta. They give us their biggest scam and I know Ubisoft ain't stopping there. This game got $100 out of me and two of my friends because of how falsely advertised the game was. At the end of the day, they did what they wanted to achieve getting every drop of our liquid divinium and leaving us with another certified shitter. Most companies don't care about quality and products anymore. And I know I'm bashing a company that made the game that I'm actively trying to grow my channel with. This might hurt my reputation with them, but this needs to be spoken about. I have some friends forcing themselves to enjoy this game because they spent $70 on a game that could have been dropped on itch.io. This game, this game is kind of trash. Kinda. I'm only saying kinda, cause... I've played worse games. This is 
This is. It is a game, you know. <laughs> it is it's a, a game, it's a game. <laughs> that, that, that's where I'm getting at, bro. I'm actually playing it by force. I'm forcing myself. <laughs> like it's sad, bro. I'm trying to find some of enjoyment out of it right now. Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> Fuck. I still got a hope. Dude, the it's only hope I have if they like completely like have a like they have to add PVP on land. They have to have that Hell type of combat. <sighs> I know I typically don't make these videos like this, and my channel is more of just trying to push entertainment, positivities, like funny moment type shit. And I know I probably missed a few points of what I wanted to talk about, but this general topic needs to be discussed as much as possible and seen by as many people as possible. Even though this video will probably go unheard and unseen, if I can make one person see what's been going on and understand that this needs to change, then that makes this video all the worth it. Make sure to share this video around as much as possible to get people to understand that this can't keep happening. Cause if we keep buying this shit, they won't stop giving us shit. First of all, we just gotta, we gotta stop the pre-orders, 100%. Stop buying into their dog shit, three foot silver statues, their nine feet of venom, and wait until this game is actually out to the public to see if it's worth it. Because that's exactly how they're getting us. Thank you all so much for making it to the point of this video. Let me know if you'd want me to make more videos like this, you know, voice of my opinion, all that sort of shit. Share this video with everyone you know. Make sure to leave a like to support this channel, and have a great rest of your day.